One of the keys to success with your online business or your strategy for your marketing and sales is actually homing in on your brand voice. And this is part of your brand identity. I want to talk about how you would approach this and make sure that your brand voice is actually in keeping with what you want to present to your potential customers or clients. So you have a way easier time of getting them to take action. Let's jump into this in this episode of Future Steps Creative. Hey, my name is Marlon and welcome back to another episode. Um, you can find me at marlonmatferson.com. I do content like this to help you build and grow your online business around your knowledge and expertise, especially in the areas of your website and your online content. Now, we're talking about the brand voice, which is part of your brand identity. And if you don't really understand what I'm talking about, I've spoken about brand the word brand not necessarily meaning a logo or a visual aspect of um, what people see because this is what most people think about when they hear the word brand but it's about the aura that emanates from you your business your product your service if you're a personal brand it's more to do with your personality and the things that make you stand out um, and why people connect with you but i want to talk more about the aspect of it not being a personal brand um, or talk in that context. So it's like you having a product or service that is not necessarily tied in with you as a personal, um, as a person and uh, so on, right? The brand voice is basically talking about how you come across with your communication, whether this is by writing, talking and any form of communication that is to do with your business, right? It needs to be a certain way based on how you're trying to come across to the people that you're trying to attract, which means you need to understand who you're trying to attract and who you're trying to connect with as your ideal customer. This comes down to the core of branding, understanding your customer avatar or your customer profile, your ideal customer is really important and knowing what their psyche is and the things that resonate with them based on the problems they're trying to get solved and what's important to them is really important for you to know upfront in order for you to tailor your communication style, your brand um, as a whole to attract and connect with them. So again, we're touching, we're specifically talking about brand voice here and the brand, the brand voice itself um, covers things like the tone, which I've mentioned, the tone of voice. So whether this is strict, stern, fun, loving, empathetic, these are all ways um, that you can tailor the tone that you speak and the way that you come across or the way that the brand communication comes across so it can kind of connect with people at that level. It also can incorporate things like the choice of words or I know it does, the choice of words um, that you use, um, the communication style as a whole, the energy that you put into the communication and the medium that you choose to communicate through or on, right? So these are several factors here. Now, the tone of voice for a bank is going to be very different to the tone of voice of, let's say, an events planning company or an events planner type of business. Um, on one hand, the bank is going to communicate ideally on a level where it's going to instill trust in terms of the tone is going to come across a lot more serious and is also going to cement the fact that they are to be trusted and that is the right type of business or place for you to invest your money. Um, yeah, so you want to have a more serious tone versus an events planning company like, like they do, let's say, kids parties. Um, typically, they're going to have more of a fun loving tone and, and communication style that is going to connect with that audience that's looking for that because it's entertainment. If it's say an events planning company that does weddings primarily, you're going to have a different, slightly different tone of voice as well or a communication style. Um, simply because uh, they are going to probably want to come across more elegant and have more of a, a finesse to how they, they, they get portrayed, right? So serious thought needs to be put into this because once you nail this 
at the very foundation, the principles of what your what the tone of voice needs to be, the brand voice needs to be, the tone of voice, the communication style, etc. Once you nail that, this is going to set you up well for all your other forms of communication, all levels of your communication, whether this is writing a sales page to sell a product or a service or writing a marketing campaign or um, doing a video, posting on social media, whatever it is that you want to do to communicate, even in person, over the phone, etc. All of this is going to be helpful if you understand what the tone of voice is, because you're going to have to be consistent or what your brand voice is. Sorry, because I keep saying tone of voice, because that's one aspect of the brand um, voice. Um, so all of this is going to be a guiding um, principle in terms of how you then approach this because you want to be consistent with the aura that you give off and you want to make sure that you're consistent with attracting the right people and therefore that plays a big role in that. So what I want you to do is to actually, if you haven't done this before, whether you're at the early stages in your business or your online presence or whatever, or you're, you've been up and running for a while and you haven't done this, just take some time, get a sheet of paper, to document what your brand voice should be. Sum up what um, the communication style should be like based on who you want to attract and who you are as a, as a brand. Um, and make sure that you select typical words that you would use so that you don't communicate above people's heads and you don't communicate past where um, people should just get it and people should connect with you. And this is going to really give you a, a, an opportunity to brain dump and to really put things in perspective and to say, you know what, maybe I want to stick with communicating in, in such a way because these are the words that resonate with my audience or these are the words that are in keeping with the true sense of my brand as well as the tone of voice that we're going to use. Is it going to be a calm, empathetic voice or is it going to be a fun, loving, upbeat voice or is it going to be more of a a stern, firm voice that instills confidence. It just depends on, on your business and how you want to come across. Again, it's easier if it's a personal brand because it's going to connect back with, with you, the individual, and how people see you and how you, you are as a person anyway. But if it's like a, a separate thing to you as a person, then again, even more thought needs to be put into it and it needs to be documented so that in every case, it can be referenced as part of your overall brand identity. If you've got any comments on this, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment in the video. Or if you're uh, listening to this, you can drop me a line and share your thoughts. Um, I take it on board and I might use the opportunity to get ideas for future content to follow up and stuff like this. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in my next episode or one of my other pieces of content. Speak to you soon.